Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Light Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the ZIS-30. Now the ZIS-30 requested by you guys in the Sherman video for me to take a drive of is pretty much a wheelbarrow with a 57mm cannon strapped to the top. The brave Russian who must have done this and showed him to his commanders and wasn't shot was... Well, he must have just thought it was a work of genius. This little thing is extremely exposed. Everything out there is to kill you. If a roof tile falls off a roof of one of the houses you're passing, the man on the back is dead. Artillery will kill you. Planes will kill you. A man with a machine gun's gonna kill you. So you better be bloody careful and play this tank really smartly. But that 57mm is gonna give you a distinctive advantage. I wouldn't take it into the current battle rate in the 2.7. I'd take it into about 4 because at 2.7 there's too many automatic weapons that'll just shred through the crew members but at about a four you can penetrate everything and still have a hell of a lot of fun enraging them any players so let's get straight to the action let's really annoy some people in their tanks so popping into this first clip we've got the perfect example of underestimating the zis 30. first i tried to thread a shot while he's unaware through the train carriage it misses and then he makes the mistake of going that's an easy kill I've got that many machine guns but no it's not as I thread one through the front, killing his driver, knocking out majority of his crew members. He's still got a few 30 cals on the back, though, that I've got to be aware of. But they're not going to be able to penetrate through that train carriage. I thread another one through there and eliminate that tank. But he's going to be back, and he's going to be back with vengeance. When people get killed by this tank for some reason, they do everything in their power to kill you. Via artillery, aircraft, or even just coming back in another tank to the same position. But now we've broken through, we can do some flanking and spanking. The M10 never saw it coming. This tank is really surprisingly accurate on the move as well as being stationary. The only issue it has is when it comes to a stop, the whole chassis rocks forwards and backwards. But you can use this to also tilt shocks around different rocks. Look over that. Who's that there coming up the right trying to take some shots at me? Looks like it's the same guy who engaged me at the train carriage before. And like I said, he's coming back this time in an M3 Lee. That means he's got both a 30 cal, a little cannon on top, as well as the big cannon on the hull. And I just can't get the gun depression down to actually meet him as he comes over that ridge. But since he's so filled with vengeance and trying to get me back, let's just see what mistakes he makes here. So there we go. We can thread one into his turret. But I miss. It goes over the top of him. I try to tilt my armor to avoid the uh, shot. And we avoid it. Beautiful for the moment. Let's get out of here. We send one through the front, critically in his crew members, stopping that big cannon from engaging us. But he's clipped my gunner. That's not good at all. So we're going to use that time to repair our gunner back into condition. And you can see he's just blaring away with his machine gun, trying to preemptive strike us. But that means he's belting the machine gun's ran out. We come back around. We don't damage him at all. He thinks he's got us here. But no, I gun it. Now there isn't a gun hit and misses cannon shot. Now I'm just going to quickly thread one through his side. It's going to be game over for him. Lovely. He thought he had me. But it was all over. Now it's all over for me though. <laughs> the M4A3 with that 105 absolutely wrecked me. Now, we've got the same sort of situation again. The ZIS-30 being completely underestimated by the enemy tanks. And, well, I'll just show you what happens. So you can see here, I'm using my sort of gun depression here. Since my gun's mounted quite high up on the tank as well, they've not got too much that they can actually see of me. I'm trying to thread through some shots through the snow there into this advantage, this sort of advancing Matilda Mark II. This 57 should be able to penetrate out this range and get one through the turret, hoping that it's going to cause some spalling that'll drop down into the crew but he knows I'm a ZIS-30 I'm a bit weak and vulnerable tank so he comes in towards me I missed the second shot probably absorbed by that metal bar he fires one at me taking my driver and my drivetrain out I fire a panic shot at his back taking his track out now he's stuck and he makes this really bad mistake of reversing up underestimating my tank and not using his machine gun and M3 pops down now once again if these tanks decided to use the 30 caliber machine gun they would have took me out so he's damaged me further Thread another through his front, destroying him. And we've got an M10 coming down to party. So my little Zis has pretty much held up the whole column. We've critical this guy. Now he's took out my gunner. And he's using his 50 caliber machine gun. So the combination of that is going to be the bane of my existence there. As he threads one through into my tank. And he wipes my little crew members out. My poor little wheelbarrow team. Now this is how this Zis 30 was supposed to be driven. No, it wasn't at all at high speed through the streets. So as I got a little bit more confident with the tank, I decided to push the envelope of it a little bit. I took it into the towns and I kind of employed a policy of don't stop. 
Because every time I stopped, I'd get hit by planes, bombs, or whatnot, whatnot. So we've got a little stuck here, roaming the streets. Do no damage to him at all. But as I come left, I am kind of faced with the worst fear. I've got the cap circle to myself. Oh, no. It's a T-34. There we go. We put it through his side. Nothing goes, though. It just bounces straight off. He thinks he's got an easy kill. He's just toying with me. Or is he? As I turn the gun back around, penetrate into his turret, taking out his gunner. Now I need him to remain stationary. So what I'm going to do is send one into the back near his engine block. So I disable his drivetrain and his engine. And now I can toy with him. But still, the people in the enemy planes are still trying to get me in my little wheelbarrow. The buggers. So we've got to wait for our slow reload time because of that artillery strike. And it's all over for him. Beautiful little penetration through the back of the turret there. So now we need to back our way out. And it feels like everyone's against you in this tank. I'm just, I'm just plodding my own way through this city. And the next minute you'll find that... Some guy's seen me from across the map in his plane, and he's trying to eliminate me as well, the bugger. So, now we just need to cap. And what's great about this tank is the engine is very quiet. So I hear a stug around the corner. Should I go for it? Yes. <laughs> Straight around the corner I go. The stug fires its shot. Now he's going to try to reverse up in panic, but using the speed of this little bugger to get behind him. And then just plant myself right there. I'm the perfect accessory for his back door. Sending a few into his sort of cockpit area, get his gunner down. We're just gonna hold him here. He's trying to push against me, he's trying to maybe cause some damage to me, but he's not gonna do anything and a teammate takes him out. Now, this was in my last game. I got so confident with it, I felt that I could fire on the move. Um, here's a little T-50, smoking through the side of there, destroying that guy before he takes out one of our teammates. And I just thought, if I keep moving, they can't hit me. And more importantly, the artillery can't range me and the aircraft are going to struggle to take me if I use these buildings to my advantage. So I'm constantly scanning the map, working out when enemy aircraft are coming above. But I absolutely adored playing this this 30 Another Matilda taken out here. It was just a great tank, offered loads of fun. If you guys want to request their tank for next week, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.